This is a BenQ G2222 HDL, uh, 22 or 21.5 inch uh, LED backlit monitor which uh, has had a bit of a bang. Uh, I picked this out of the trash, it just ticked the power LED on and off repeatedly when I tried to pair it on and that is no surprise given how it looks. Uh, my goal with this is to convert it to just a DC operation because I uh, need it for a DC application. Uh, and uh, it seems to have a bit of an odd power supply arrangement because we have a normal stuff, we have our primary uh, capacitor switching element single, switching element single, a, a dual output group regulator off of, of the right side there where we've got the optocoupler. But uh, yeah, I'm not certain if this is just a rectified diode or if this is some kind of extra switching element because as you can see the LED driver is just an extra little board they've tacked on. This is a relatively early LED monitor so they seem to have just purchased an off-the-shelf module and basically tacked it onto uh, what looks like half of one of the normal CFL driver power supply where they just chopped off the uh, CFL driver. Uh, anyway, I think the root cause of this is bad caps because pretty much all the caps on the secondary are done for. Uh, they are 470 microfarad, 16 volts, uh, SUS cons there, one jammy con 220, 25, and one 470, 35 SUS con there, and one 100 volts, 10 microfarad. Hmm. Okay, so perhaps there's a bit of an extra boost circuit here. Anyway, I'm basically just going to undismount all of the burnt stuff here, clean the board up a bit, and see if I can power just uh, this, well, basically the entire board uh, uh, off of a DC power supply. Quick midpoint check-in, I've ground off all the bad uh, carbonized materials, so we've now got a grand big hole in the board, and uh, now I'm going to reconstruct the circuit uh, off of pictures I took before I ground everything off, so yeah, it shouldn't take too long actually. And here is the finished uh, repair, I just have to replace the cap still. Uh, so I've just uh, recreated the original wiring with some copper wire and uh, put a couple of new devices in there. The only thing I'm not entirely certain of, of is uh, if this rectified diode is the right way around because the original one was shorted and uh, yeah, it's not very clearly marked how it was. Uh, so I've got a 50-50 shot at that. Well, perhaps 70-30 since I went by logic. Uh, and uh, yeah, it should work. I've compared it to my old picture. It looks the same pretty much. Jump away of there, patching up a broken trace. And uh, yeah, this should really be good to go. One thing which turned out a bit amusing is uh, you can see these three original uh, resistors uh, the tracks for two of those uh, is entirely gone. So what I ended up doing was just stacking them all on top of each other there. So if I raise the board a bit you can see there's just a big pile of three resistors on top of each other. It's dirty but it should work. They're all in par parallel anyway. When I'm looking at the output of the converter, I've just hooked it up to my lab paper by for a little first test. So let's just see if it does anything. No, nope, it's shorted. Alright, I think I found the issue. I accidentally saw a trace where none existed, and I'd accidentally shorted everything out. And as you can see, there's no longer a short there. So let's uh, turn on some power and see if anything happens. To be just passing everything through straight away. Yeah, the circuit's not working. Well, hello there. I do believe that is LED light. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I just connected up uh, using the original power supply. Uh, just uh, from my lab power supply acting as mains, because I noticed that there were two actual uh, power supply rails going to, to it. That's, uh, it's uh, the uh, LED driver switchy thingy seems to be grabbing some sort of logic supply from that half and that was not pairing up when I wasn't uh, uh, when I was initially testing it uh, and now it seems to be working just fine yep, showing the BenQ logo, turning off, turning on again for no reason and then it'll turn on for a while 
as banks tend to do. Yeah, so that's not too bad. That seems to be working just fine. So, <laughs> that is a repair. Sweet. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. And if you're curious, I just measured around. Uh, so the power supplies in this thing are uh, across these uh, caps here, the 470 microfarad 16 volts, uh, that's a 5 volt rail. The uh, 470 35 is a roughly 20 ish, 24 volt rail. And the boosted voltage we're getting out of this converter circuit, which you get on those two pins at the edge of the uh, prefab module, is about 55 volts. So there you go, bit of info. Cheerio.